Uh, we're here with a Wolf SSL. So, uh, so hi. So, who are you? I'm David Garski, one of the software engineers with Wolf SSL. Um, do you yeah. do uh, security? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Software security engineer. Yeah. Uh, and the company, uh, what's uh, what's the product that you do? It looks like uh, this crypto engine, SSL library, crypto module. Yep. We also do MQTT clients. We have an SSH server clients, and uh, recently added TPM 2.0 support. So do you uh, do you enable security on on the embedded on the embedded? Yeah. Model? So that's where we specialize is on the embedded side. This library is written for embedded use in C. Um, it's an open source open source project, GPL v2. Open source. Yep. That security. Yes. Yeah. That works. It works very well. <laughs> we get the, all of the the community's you know input on it, right? So it's it's actually been out there since 2006. Um, and what that means is anybody can go use it. They can evaluate it. They can try it. They give feedback. They can submit. They can submit uh, you know pull requests, things like that that they might want to uh, contribute code back, right? We also get universities and uh, things like that that review it. They analyze it. And uh, is it? Are you related or using or partnering with the trusted execution environment, the TE, or is that something else? Yeah, so the trusted execution environment is, is a more generic term for things like SGX or Trust Zone. Currently, we support the SGX, which is an Intel thing, and then ARM has a new, a new chip. It's the Cortex-M33, which is also known as the ARM V8M, and it has Trust Zone support, and that is something that we'll be starting very, very soon. So. So it's starting to come out, right? There's a few things happening with that? There are chips that are coming out with it. The simulator's been available for a long time. Um, there's uh, you know, several chips out there that support yeah. it, so yeah. And uh, do you have a demo right here? I do. I, I, so the demo I have here is an STM32F7. So this is a Cortex M7. It's running at 216 megahertz. It's, it's a pretty beefy chip because it's got Two megs of RAM and like 256k of flash. Or, 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 I have that backwards. Two megs of yeah. flash, 256k of RAM. Um, and this chip actually, it's the the F77 uh, ZI, and it supports the uh, crypto hardware acceleration, specifically symmetric. So that's AES, uh, you know, triple DES, SHA1, SHA256, stuff like that. But it's RV7 still, but they have hardware. Yep. Correct. Encryption stuff. Yep. How many uh, chips have hardware encryption in the V7 world? So it's it's up to the manufacturer to decide to add it because it's peripheral. So there are many chips out there that support it. Um, like the PSOC, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's a, that, I think you're talking about the Cypress one. Yeah. But Did I you could work list. For that? Yeah. So we will be adding support for that. We have those in house, and uh, it's something we'll be adding. But I mean, you can, I can list pretty much every chip manufacturer has some type of crypto hardware option, and uh, our goal is to add support for all those. And right now we have, I mean. I guess I can start listing them off. So with the STM32, uh, they have a, a symmetric crypto hardware acceleration. Um, NXP has a couple they call the, the MMCAU. This is part of the Kinetics line. Uh, the, Kin the Kinetics K82 has an LTC, which actually does the asymmetric ECC and RSA as well. And then the IMX6 has the CAM, which we all support. Um, we also support, uh, so microchip, they have the PIC32 MZ and the MX, which support crypto hardware. It's also symmetric. Um, and then we we have external chips that we support, such as like an Infineon TPM 2.0. Um, and then there's also an Atmel part that does the ECC 508, 608A, those chips. Because it's quite important that the IoT has to be secure in the future. You don't want to have people hacking all these IoT things. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to be in the, in the center of all that? Yeah, so that's where our product is does very well yeah. because we're tailored for embedded. It's, it's very um, configurable, which means we use less flash, less RAM, um, as it's modular. So um, yeah. What is your business model? Yeah, so the business model is open source GPL v2, but we also sell commercial license. So you know, if somebody wants to ship a product uh, and they don't want to use GPL, then they buy a commercial license. So. so what do you show here with the benchmark? Do you show that it's fast or? Yeah, exactly. So. I'm, uh, I'm just using, uh, this is OpenSTM32, it's a free Eclipse-based IDE. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, let's see, so basically this project, it, you can go to our GitHub, WolfSSL repository, and there's an example. It's located inside the IDE OpenSTM32 folder. Yeah, I guess it's hard to see. Yeah. Okay. And uh, when you build and run this, uh, there is a console. So this this board is pretty nice because it has the debugger and it has a UART connection, both off the, the debug side. And so I'm just 
connecting with cool term, I'm able to execute. Uh, and by default, what we have is we have a, um, a Wolf script test and a benchmark and a TLS client example. And so what I'm going to demonstrate is running the, uh, the benchmark. And so this benchmark runs through each crypto algorithm. And it, you know, so it's going through AES and all the different key sizes. And then it'll do the digest like SHA-256. And the performance we're seeing is about 10 times the speed of just software only, right? So 10 times the speed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because so I have a side, side crypto stuff. Exactly, yeah. So for example, because um, you don't want to have everything slow down just because you want to add security, right? <laughs> like, that would be ideal, yeah. <laughs> so that's why they're doing hardware security too? Is Absolutely. Not only for security, is for speed? Yeah, exactly. So like an AES you know, 128, I mean, we're seeing uh, 11 megabytes per second you know, for an AES 128. Or let's say uh, AES 128 GCM, that's actually even faster. It's 21 megabytes per second. Now, if you do the same thing with software, you're getting... I think I might have the wrong one. One train just in, yeah. So that's 21 megabytes per second in software. It's not looking so good. It's kilobytes. Yeah, 37 kilobytes so per second. Three orders of magnitude faster. I will say that this build was not optimized for performance okay. on that one because there's some tables and some things we can do to speed up that on software. Okay. But yeah. Cool. So how is it to be an ST partner? <laughs> it's very good. In fact, I see a, a lot of adoption of the STM32 parts. Um, and they've been really good to us as a partner. They always provide hardware. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm.